Hello everybody and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then of course bounce around the market and look for something to trade. Well, even though last week was kind of volatile, I mean, it doesn't look like much here on this chart, but there were a few days there where it went kind of crazy. Thursday was a huge drop in price. Friday again took a bit of a dive, but seemed to recover. But you can still see nobody seems to be that scared yet because volatility in the S&P 500 is still way down here at 11. If we look at the Qs, a little bit bigger spike here because we had this huge drop here again on Thursday, but then right afterwards it kind of settled off right here and you can see the volatility is coming back down again and we're only up at 21 which is also not very much. The big one we did last week was IWM. Unfortunately we got in around here and in the last week you can see holy smokes this thing is shot up to the moon and volatility has spiked. We already made it in here last week, uh, trading here last week. We can do another one, but I always like to bounce on the market anyways. But um, if it continues like this, we will definitely look to do this again, probably the week after, because you can see volatility is way up here at 44. So that's good for us. Unfortunately, not good for us because we made a trade right here. But you never know. 45 days is a long time, and we're hoping things come back with duration over direction, as always. So what are we going to trade this week? Well, unfortunately, it's earnings season, so there's a lot of trades that are waiting for earnings. So it's tough to get trades in. But for this one, NVIDIA, if we roll over here, you see the earnings is on 821. So that is the date we'd like to make a trade before. If we're going to squeeze it in, that's the time we want to get it done before, 821. And you can see volatility, although not as high as it's been on this over the last six months, it's still decent volatility for us as a whole. 38 is in this market. As you can see, everything is pretty low and everything is in earnings, so we're kind of stuck a bit. So we're looking for something with decent volatility, and NVIDIA still has it. So remember, August 21st is that deadline day we're looking to stay below. So if I go to the expiration cycles, you can see when it says 19 here, July 24, that means the 19th of July is when this ex this option cycle expires. Remember, 821 is what we're looking to stay below. And if you see right here, August 16th, we still got 33 days in there, and it's before August 21st, which is when earnings are. Obviously, this one's the 23rd. It's too late, but we can squeeze a trade in here in NVIDIA before our deadline. We just want to be between 30 and 60 days on our trading. This is 33. Tomorrow will be 32. It's perfect. That's totally fine. So if I open up to where we are to save us the time of going through every strike price, we'll just say for ease of math, this is essentially 130. So I'm going $14 up on the call side, $14 down on the put side. Turn this into a $2 wide iron condor. And as long as I'm collecting between 66 cents and a dollar roughly, um, no more than a dollar, but 66 cents to 80 is where we're looking mainly, but we can go up to a dollar in iron condors. This is totally fine. So 86 cent credit, totally in our wheelhouse. So if nothing changes tomorrow in NVIDIA, and the stock price stays around here. We're going to go about $14 up and down, create a two-dollar wide iron condor. As long as we're collecting 66 to cents to a dollar, it fits in our wheelhouse. If not, we'll move these strikes up or down until we collect more or less to make sure we fit those parameters. And that is our trade in NVIDIA for tomorrow. One, I am excited to let you know I've completed a book that is now available to everyone that wants to get it called Learn to Trade in Seven Days. This is a book that will take you from absolute ground zero as far as knowing absolutely nothing about options all the way to trading them. Now, I'm so intent on getting this book to you because I really believe it is such a valuable resource for anybody and everybody that I'm going to offer an incredible deal on this, so stick with me on this. But before we get there, I want to show you what the book entails. The book is broken down into seven days, day one being... What is an option? You'll learn everything about options themselves. We'll compare stocks versus options. Then we'll get into basic option strategies like the vertical. And finally, we'll wrap it up with how to trade verticals and then the making and managing of trades, which is to me the key to success long term above all. Now, as I mentioned, if you get into it now, if you go to this link, you can get this book for only $9.99. And I know that may not appeal to a lot of people because a lot of people aren't into books, but I'm so intent on getting you this book because I really believe it is such a valuable resource to anybody and everybody that I'll also throw in any one of my courses right here available on Udemy right now. So for only $9.99, you not only get the book itself, but you get one free course 
which can be valued for as much as $100 depending on when and where you buy these courses. Again, just go to this link here and it'll take you to this page where as you can see you'll get the book and one of my courses for only $9.99. So really can't be beat. So again, just to reiterate, go to this link here. You will get my book, which you can hang on to forever. And I really believe it's such a vital resource. I'm throwing in a course to really get you motivated to buy this book. That's how important I really believe this book is. The book and one of my courses for only $9.99 simply by going to this link. Please jump on this opportunity. It is something you really will be happy you did.